okay uh or at least we are still on the uh, may june 2018 question number 2a let's move to equity so on equity we're going to talk about uh capital so how do you calculate capital now um so we have the the capital amount in our information and then the capital it was fifty is fifty thousand so on, to calculate capital here yeah, you must say capital is close to the capital amount of fifty thousand plus the comprehensive income so do you by any chance have the comprehensive income yes on additional information number 12 they saying uh you may assume that the total comprehensive income for the year after all the above adjustment has been taken uh, into account amounted to 56,243 so the comprehensive income is what it's 56,243 and then we we'll subtract the drawings how much is our drawings our drawings amounted to drawings amounted to uh 26,000 so we'll subtract 26,000 here subtract 26,000 okay so how much will you get so if you add these two and subtract this one you will get 80,243 so this is the amount of your what this is the amount of your equity so your equity will amount to the to 80,243 so this is how you calculate equity so let's move to the non current liabilities so the non current liabilities these are the liabilities that takes forever to be paid off you cannot pay them within a year so they take more than a year to be paid off like a a, a loan of mortgage uh, a long term loan so this loan they basically last for two or more years so now how do you basically calculate them okay so we have what we call a current portion on mortgage or a current portion on long-term loan remember that mortgage or a long-term loan you pay them in more than a year but the the portion that you can pay within a year it's a current portion so it belongs to the current liability it doesn't belong to the non-current liability okay so in our situation we have um, a mortgage uh, of ZZC Bank of 190,000. This is our mortgage. And then they went further to say that um, in our mortgage, in our mortgage, in our mortgage number, number five, on the 31st of August 2017, an amount of 56,000 uh, uh, an amount of 56,000 are repayable on the mortgage. So already you have paid uh, 56,000. So that 56,000 is a current portion of mortgage. So <coughs> your mortgage is no, it's no longer going to be how much? It's no longer be 190,000. So it's your mortgage will be like uh, 190,000 minus what you already paid. So how much are you remaining with for your mortgage? So you are remaining with 134,000. So your mortgage will be 134,000. So it's unfortunate that we don't have long-term loan. So I'll just put a dash here. And then if you add the two, you'll get uh, the value of non-current liability of how much? Of 134 thousand that's it so let's move to the current liabilities we have trade payable okay so how do we calculate the trade payable so how do we calculate trade payable so to calculate the trade payable is a trade payable balance or a creditors control balance plus the accrued expenses plus the the finance cost so in our situation it seems like we don't have the the other stuff we only have the trade payable balance 
so the trade payable balance is 33,500 so your trade payable is how much 33,500 okay and then uh, we also have the income that is received in advance so income received in advance is an example of current liabilities so do we have income that has been received in, in advance here a merchandise in houghton whose inventory was sold on his behalf overpaid commission in july by 5565 and it must be offset against the future commission and so this person overpaid so when you overpaid so it means you received an income in advance so the income in advance is um received in advance it's 5565 because he overpaid by this amount and this amount it must be offset against the future commission end so it means 5565 it's an income received in advance 5565 so income received in advance is 5000 five six five and then one more thing we have the current portion on mortgage so remember the fifty six thousand we subtracted here it's a current portion so the current portion is fifty six thousand so now if you add all of them the three of them how much will you get thirty three thousand five hundred plus five thousand plus what what you get nine five thousand zero six five nine five thousand zero six five you will get uh, 95,065. And then, what is the total of equity plus liability? So you will say current liabilities plus uh, non-current liabilities plus equity. You see how it operates. Current liability plus non-current plus equity. How much will you get? So you will get uh, 3093. Or eight. So if it balance, it means you are definitely correct. So this is how you do everything. Thank you. Keep practicing. You can screenshot here. Okay, yeah, you can screenshot. For more info, you will call me at my number. What is my number? By the way, zero seven two seven one five nine. Four zero eight four zero eight. This is my number. You can call me here. Thank you.